Hey everybody, let's talk DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. That is spelled like this, deoxyribonucleic acid. You can see where the D, the N, and the A come from. But what is DNA? DNA carries your genetic information. It what makes you, you. Think of it as the instruction booklet of you. Everyone has different DNA because everyone is different. Now DNA is made up, before we get to what it's made up of, let's talk about where it's found. It's found in the nucleus of the cell, and usually it hangs out as chromatin. Chromatin is a form of DNA where the DNA is all unwound, there's no real order to it. It's just a big mess, kind of like this yarn. But this is the way DNA needs to be because the only way you can read the DNA is one little piece at a time like this. So you've got this mess in your nucleus. DNA stays this way during most of the cell's life cycle. It'll copy itself during interphase, and then during prophase, it will condense down because moving this around is a big old mess. But when it condenses down, like this ball of yarn, it's much easier to move around. When it condenses, it becomes something called a chromosome, which has an X shape to it. Chromatin, chromosome. Throw stuff on the floor. All right, what else do I need to tell you people? DNA looks like this. It has a double helix shape. It's where you get this winding staircase structure. And it's made of things called nucleotides. You've got lots of nucleotides in here. Now let's look at one in particular. Here's an example of one nucleotide. You've got a sugar, you've got a phosphate, and you have a nitrogen base. You put a lot of these together, and you get this DNA structure. Now you can see the sugars and the phosphates make up the backbone of the structure, while the nitrogen bases in the middle part make up the rungs. Sugar and phosphate backbone, nitrogen bases in the middle rungs. Now there are four kinds of nitrogen bases. We've got guanine, adenine, cytosine, and thymine. Guanine and adenine are purines. They have a double ring structure. Cytosine and thymine are pyrimidines. They have a single ring structure. So, guanine and adenine, purines, double ring. Cytosine and thymine are pyrimidines, and they have a single ring. My dog is now attacking the ball of yarn I put on the floor. All right, a couple more things I want to tell you guys. The way that guanine, adenine, cytosine, and thymine connect are very specific rules. These are called the base pairing rules. Adenine and thymine always go together, and so do guanine and cytosine. An easy way to remember this is at the campground, you need H2O. AT, adenine and thymine, and campground, CG, cytosine and guanine. The H and H2O is important because they are bonded together by hydrogen bonds. And these hydrogen bonds are important when it comes time for DNA replication. When the DNA is ready to replicate, because when you're going through mitosis or meiosis, you need two sets of DNA. What happens is, in this middle part, the hydrogen bonds break apart, and the DNA structure actually unwinds. Like this. Ah! Mutation! There we go. Alright, so the DNA structure unwinds. What happens is, in the nucleus, you have these free-floating nucleotides. They're just wandering about in there. They're going to come in and connect up to each half of this DNA strand. So this will become a brand new strand, and this will become a brand new strand. So you're going to have two strands where you had one strand. And that is DNA replication. So hopefully I've answered a few questions, giving you just a brief overview of what DNA is, what it's made up of, and why that all matters. So I've got, I'll see you guys later.